summer are back. The Bay Area hosted its first spring training game since the MLB lockout threatened to cancel them all together. And on your side's Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva joins us now live outside of Tiger Town, where a game just got out. You know, the fans got to be excited about this. They have waited patiently. They are so excited, and today they got a tied game. The score was six to six, but they're still feeling excited about getting to see baseball back at all, and many of them are feeling lucky as well because they plan their trips down here hoping you know both sides of this deal would come to an agreement and they would be able to see a ballpark a ball game here at the stadium and with the first pitch spring training is a go at tiger town it's the detroit tigers 86th season training in the city of lakeland that's why we chose to stay in lakeland for the winter was because of spring training so i was really hoping we were going to get one in before we have to go home. Baseball fans watched from the sidelines as players and owners battled it out over contract negotiations, delaying opening day and spring training games. Then late last week, they reached a deal and the lockout was lifted. Luckily, baseball made a right choice and the players made a right choice and we're all here because otherwise, I don't know what we have to look for in spring. Baseball is America. City officials estimate each spring training season generates $55 million for the local economy. In this abbreviated season, Tiger Town will host just 10 games. But for Mayor Bill Mutz, every game is a win. Baseball is incredibly important to Lakeland. The economic impact here is very strong. And of course, this is our 86th year of relationship with the Tiger being their home spring training stadium. So there were games in Bradenton and Sarasota as well. Just a really exciting time for baseball fans in Florida. Also exciting for businesses in the area. Com coming up at 5.30, I revisit a restaurant I talked to earlier last month about how excited they are that baseball is finally back on. Josh. Yeah, that guy who just drove by and honked, he's a happy contractor, so he's probably happy this is back. Uh, but what about the rest of the schedule? What can you tell us about that? A lot of honks people very very happy here Josh yeah so the next game that they're hosting is actually on Tuesday against Toronto I'm told that always attracts a lot of people a lot of snowbirds here from Canada excited to see the Blue Jays play then the last game is April 6th that's